What's up fellas, welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. We have just arrived to Phuket airport and along the way we are going to show you how to claim your baggage, buy a SIM card, exchange some money and take a public taxi or minibus. So all you have to do is to follow one way signs that shows you the path to the baggage claim and exit route. So once you go down the electronic stairs, you will be in front of the baggage belts and in a short time your baggage will arrive and you will be walking straight following the exit sign, which also indicates about the public taxi and bus. So now let's walk toward the main exit. Here the walk is very short, it won't take more than 10 minutes to get out. First, as you see, you will be in front of a SIM card stand, where you can buy the package of the SIM according how long you are staying. So you have many options and different prices. After that you have many exchange shops, where you can exchange money, but my advice to you, the rates outside is much higher than the airport rates, so exchange as less as you need. Also along the way you have tour offices, where you can rent cars, book tours or even internal flight tickets and hotels. Those shops are side by side, so you can compare the best prices and deals. After that you can walk to the main exit, where I usually book my ride to my accommodation. Here the prices are fixed, no scams or bargain. As you see the main point of Phuket Island, Karen and Kata for 200 baht, whereas the famous Patong which is much near than the others only for 180 Thai baht. Now if you like to take a taxi, then the prices are also written on board. For example, a taxi to Patong is 800 Thai baht. After you get your ticket, bus or taxi, you have to walk out to the parking area. So we got our bus ticket and we are walking now to the bus stops. It's around 3 minutes of walk, where many bus or taxi drivers along the way will lead you to the place you should stop and wait. Concerning minivans, sometimes in low season you have to wait around 10 to 15 minutes so that the bus is full and you can have your ride. One of the things concerning the bus ride, you will stop along the way and go down to give some informations about your accommodation and they will also try to sell you tours, so avoid it. While when you book a taxi, it's more private and you are directly picked up and head to your accommodation. And in a way or another, you will be at your accommodation. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and it was helpful for you. Subscribe for more vlogs from Live Love Thailand.